The Oogie Boogie Bash is an exclusive party held at Disney's California Adventure Park in Anaheim, and there's plenty of that on the way. But before, we're heading to the Avengers Campus to meet some of Earth's mightiest heroes, and there's going to be plenty of food in between. I'm joined by the legendary Joy Haywood, aka King Handles, the street baller from the Nautic. He's a vegan, so he's going to be showing you all the meatless options as well. Stick around and don't forget to hit that follow. The Oogie Boogie Bash is happening at 6 o'clock p.m., so there's plenty of time to explore California Adventure Park. The crowd here is huge. It's full of anticipation for the legendary Halloween Bash. This is the King Handles. Now before we go off into the park, I want to show you what to expect starting at the hotel. This one is the Candy Cane Inn, which is a 10 minute walk from the entire park. You can actually see it right behind the hotel. So you grab your breakfast, which is an assortment of things to eat, and then you go and hop on the Candy Cane Express, which is a shuttle that takes you right to the park. If you're lucky, they'll let you ring the bell to kick it off. Woo! So as you enter the park, you bring your wristband that allows you to access certain rides and attractions. You'll use it to scan at certain locations like this. Once inside, it's basically an entire town, but every store is just selling merch and merch and more merch. Disney's really making a killing out here. Hey down there! Spider-Man up here. Like I'm using my made up name. Time for some field testing. Hey, could you record it for me? Tag me later. Okay. Here goes something. Okay, so guilty as charged, I'm a huge Marvel fan, so when I went to the Avengers Campus, it was everything I wanted and more. I mean, who doesn't want to run into your favorite heroes and just see them doing amazing stunts, like your friendly neighborhood spider? Our first stop was Pim's Test Kitchen, which is a cool take on Ant-Man where they experiment with different sized portions. And it's a test kitchen by every sense of the word. You want to know what to eat in the Quantum Realm? Think big chicken, little bun. That's sort of the theme you'll find here. It's a very fun sort of atmosphere to bring your kids. I got a panini, which you can dip in a marinara sauce. It was cheesy, it was good, I really enjoyed this. The King Handles went for the impossible meatball on some pasta, and the best part was the fork. It was tiny, but he made it work though. Delicious. Now I've never actually seen the movie Big Hero 6, but when I entered San Francisco, I instantly vibed with the aesthetics. Apparently this is Baymax, and to the kids, Baymax is very popular. He had a whole lineup of people just waiting to take photos. But okay, let's check out the food. We went to Lucky Fortune Cookery to go to get an assortment of delicious eats. This is a teriyaki chicken burger fried to perfection. It's topped with slaw, which creates this amazing texture on top of the crispiness of the chicken. I loved it. And there's also this gyoza, which were pretty solid. I had that as a little appetizer to my burger. Now let's go for that first bite of the sandy. And in we go, we like this. If you also wanna buy a Baymax cup, there's that. There's also dessert if you're into that as well. King Handles wants to go for a healthy tofu soba noodle with some edamames. And how was it? 
Next, we took a little stroll over to Pixar Pier, which is home to the Incredicoaster, which I highly suggest you ride. There's so much to do in this section from rides, games, to food, but let's be honest, you're just gonna wanna go on the Incredicoaster like three or four times. Check out this Mango Dole Whip. When it's California hot outside, one of these will save your life. We had to take a break to cool down. The Oogie Boogie Bash Halloween party tickets are totally separate from the regular park admission. So if you only have a day pass, you're welcome to visit Disneyland in the morning and then Oogie Boogie Bash kicks off in the evening and you'll need a separate ticket to get in. People dress up and explore the spookified California Adventure Park. They also have Candy Depot where you can go and stop and just trick or treat for some candy. It's all here, it's wild and it's fun. And, if you're lucky, you might get to meet Oogie Boogie himself. That's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And there's going to be plenty more to come. Peace.